remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Police say a black man kidnapped a white woman he had been in an on-off-again relationship with for years and forced her to watch the nine-hour slavery miniseries Roots so she could better understand her racism. Cedar Rapids police arrested 52-year-old Robert Lee Noyes on Monday on charges of first-degree harassment and false imprisonment. It is alleged that the woman was forced to sit with Robert. When she tried to move, he is accused of threatening to kill her and spread her body parts along Interstate 380 on his way to Chicago. If you take a really good look at this dude, he look guilty. He look like the type of person that would do something like that. Think about it, family. You're accused of kidnapping and threatening someone's life. And you take your mug shot smiling ear to ear. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> Dude looked like, he not only looked like he did it, he looks like he did it before. His name is Robert Lee. That did not escape me that Robert Lee is the name of a Confederate general. Check out the irony of that. He's going he gonna to beat some love. <laughs> He's going to try to beat some love, force somebody to understand racism. <laughs> By, by making them watch Roots. If he really wanted her to watch something that would force her to understand racism, all he have to do is take her into any courtroom in America and let her watch the prosecutor and the judges and the jurors go to work you will get a very, very good understanding of racism in courtrooms throughout America. That's the way they rock. This dude has got to be in line for the Woke Award. <laughs> he gonna force somebody <laughs> to understand racism by making them watch Roots. If you're unfamiliar with Roots, you should probably check it out at least once. And I know many of you are probably tired of watching slave movies. Roots is very hard to watch like any other slave movie. Movie. I think that was the first slave movie that I ever watched. And it was a series. Night after night, they, they showed this series for like a week and a half with two weeks and oh man boy them kids at our school caught the blues uh during the the course of that series it was a major exodus of white students from my middle school and really around the city a lot of those, man, they was getting up out of there. Man, that movie will make you very, very angry. Cold-blooded what they did, man. And, and, and that movie was really mild compared to what really happened. Just like all of these other slave movies, uh, very mild. I think probably Birth of a Nation was was really close. And it was graphic. Oh man. One damn slave movie, something else, man. But that alone, I mean, it'll give you an idea of what black people had to endure. It'll give you some idea, but it don't tell the half. Just when you think you've heard it all, 
another genius shows up and shows out. I keep thinking about Kevin Hart. It's like, what was going through his mind? You're going to learn today. <laughs> the irony here, another irony here is that he tried to force her into understanding slavery. And I'm willing to bet you a dollar to a donut it had the adverse effect. She probably hates black people even more than she did before now. Way to go, Rob. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.